What's up mga Makanarians? I'm Father M, your vocation vlogger. Mga Makanarians, once again, welcome to our vlog. And in this vlog, we are going to feature once again Pigdaulan, the new location of our Propiliotic Year program of the St. Peter College Seminary. And if you are still new to our YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the notification bell below. Because when you are supporting our YouTube channel, you are also helping us raise funds for our seminary. Thank you. I presume that our incoming Puri College seminarians are now excited to uh, come to this place because you know what, the place is really very beautiful, the scenery is pretty much uh, nice and it's really conducive for the formation. And yung place po na papalibutan ng mga, anong tawag nito, yung mga rice fields. And then, sa likod po, uh, meron po tayong fish pan doon. And then, uh, Meron na po tayo ngayong dalawang dormitories that we are renovating for that would uh, house uh, incoming pre-college and seminarians and we are very much uh, happy to inform to you mga Makanarians that there are more than 40 uh, young people who confirmed who are bold and courageous enough to uh, who responded to the call of Christ to try the seminary life. By the way, our apologies po because uh, if you notice, the place is still quite messy but we are hoping to clear everything out when the seminarians arrive especially that the college seminarians will be arriving ahead of the pre-college seminarians. They will be arriving on August 8th and they will help clean the area. Of course, as their way of uh, loving uh, their younger brothers in the formation. And by the way, mga, mga Makanarians, itong water tank po, ito, uh, this has been donated by Butuan St. Peter Seminary Foundation uh, Chera Club po. So, uh, we are really very grateful for their generosity and for their support to uh, by giving us uh, this uh, water tank. This is a two-story building. The upstairs are being utilized as uh, quarters for our incoming pre-college seminarians. Let's take a look on what's in there. Welcome mga Makanarians to the dormitory of our seminarians. Um, we prepared, if I'm not mistaken, we prepared around 20 beds for this dorm or in this floor. And it's now ready thanks to our seminary staff and personnel who devoted their time in arranging the beds and the lockers of our seminarians. Sa badag dito, maganda pong tingnan kasi overlooking po sa fish pan below. So, it's nice to uh, meditate in this particular spot of this building. Downstairs, mga Makanarians, this uh, place is space. We're planning to convert this into the chapel. And the space at the back will serve as our sanctuary Actually, it's not yet really fully furnished, but hopefully um, in our next vlog, we are going to feature the, the new channel. For dorm A, we prepared or we constructed five comfort rooms for the seminarians use. And at the back is the laboratory. This will serve as the laundry place of our seminarians. This is the way going to my room. This will serve as the priest's quarter. This will be my room. So it's not, it's not yet uh, fully done. But this is already the 
is not enough for my stay. <laughs> On the other corner, this is dorm B, and we hope to um, occupy mga around mga 8 people here. And downstairs, I mean, this is downstairs and upstairs. There is also um, a quarter there, and we prepared around mga 10 beds for 10 seminarios. This place, mga Makanarians, is also a free quarter. Those who will be assisting me in the program here program. So it's not yet fully furnished, it's not yet done, but hopefully um, the renovations, the constructions will be over before August 14. And upstairs, as what I told you last time, uh, a while ago, I mean, um, this will serve as uh, the dorm of Maganda po na mag-standby dito, lalo na kapag gabi. Klarong-klaro yung mga bituin. Pwede mag-stargazing dito yung mga seminarians. And, inside, that's what I told you, eh. wala pang kuryente, wala pang mga ilaw. Pero we prepared 8 lockers and 8 beds for this place. 8 for not 10, I mean. For dorm B occupants, they will be utilizing these uh, comfort rooms. There are seven comfort rooms for them. And also, uh, there are two existing old comfort rooms that they can also use. This is formerly a covered hall for farmers who are training for sustainable agriculture under the Social Action uh, Center of the Diocese of Butuan. And we converted it into a multi-purpose hall. They, this will serve as the rectory of our pre-college seminarians and at the same time their classroom and their recreation hall. Before po mga makanarians, uh, open space po ito and then through the initiative of Father John Poch Busanti, our procurator, um, we decided to uh, put walls and to screen the windows um, for, of course, for the comfort of the seminarians who will be dining in this place. And mga makanarians, finally, this is Flex ko lang yung bagong basketball court namin. And we are very much grateful to Father Dandy for really insisting to construct a basketball court, a separate basketball court for our pre-college seminarians. Mga Makanarians, what can you say about the facilities that we just featured so far? Maganda ba? Okay ba? Oh, so far, we only have limited budget, but we are really hoping to further improve the facilities of the place through time. And that ends our vlog featuring the different facilities of the new location of our property care program of the St. Peter College and Seminary. Until next time po, this is Father M, your vocation vlogger na nagsasabing, kung ikaw ay makaseminarian, you are certified makanarians. God bless you.